We're really gonna do it. Okay. Um, if you guys already know, I did rank the MCU uh, a while back. I think it was 2021. But we did not get gems like Black Panther Wakanda Forever and Doctor Strange in the mom. And don't take it the wrong way. In the multiverse of madness. That's what I meant to say. Um, so today, we are going to be ranking every single MCU movie and show. Uh, I gotta admit, I did not like ranking the shows into here too. It was very hard. But I did it. I ranked all 38 Marvel movies and shows. Don't expect Werewolf by Night or Guardians of the Galaxy, the holiday special, to be on here. But I watched the holiday special. It's pretty damn good. All right, let's get into it. Number 38, Miss Marvel. I hate it. Okay, I do. I really hate it. I'm not ashamed to say it. Miss Marvel is bad, okay? It started off, yeah, it started off pretty good. Like, mediocre episodes. I wasn't that mad about it. But uh, it started to get personal once it just, like, totally went downhill, okay? It was like, dude, like, it was awful. Just such a awful, terrible crash landing. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I barely even finished it. I don't, I don't even think I finished it, but, yeah, it, it was not good, okay? Shout out to everyone who likes it. I mean, I definitely wanted to like it. I think the girl who played Miss Marvel did a great job. Unfortunately, she just wasn't in it that much, um, and I hated it. Three and a half out of ten. At number 37, I have Thor the Dark World. I mean, I think this is at the bottom of everyone's list. It's it's good. No, it's not good. It's not good. Uh, it's got some good stuff. Like, Loki's great in it. Everyone, I mean, everyone knows that. But uh, Thor the Dark World is mediocre at best. Uh, 4 out of 10. It's just, it's not a good movie. It's not letting me press pause. At 36, I have Captain Marvel. Oh my god, I hate this movie. Somewhat liked it the first time I watched it, but it it grew on it somehow just grew on me less the more and more I thought about it and watched it. It was just not for me. I mean, Nick Fury is great, and I think that's why it's above Thor The Dark World, but that's the only good thing I can really say for it. At number 35, I have Iron Man 2. Iron Man 2. Definitely a movie. If you watch it more and more and more, you're going to realize it sucks. Because I remember the first time I watched it, I was like, oh man, this is really good. I don't know what everyone's talking about. But the more I watched it, the more I was like, yeah, this isn't really that good. Okay, the movie is just like... I mean, like, who gives a heck about the villain? I, I can't I can't say uh, I can't say the F word on this platform. Believe me, I've tried. Um, but who, who cares about Whiplash, okay? He should be a great villain. But he's just really not. Um, mediocre film, 4.5 out of 10. At number 34, I have Ant-Man of the Wasp. I think the Ant-Man movies are really underrated. But um, this one, never liked this one. Okay, never really liked this one. I thought uh, it had some fun moments, but uh, that was about it. I mean, like, you don't even really need to watch it. I mean, and it came at a bad point, too. Like, after all the crazy stuff that happened in Infinity War, were people really wondering... What's Ant Man up to? I mean, maybe some people were, but like, they want to know like if these heroes are gonna stay dead or come back to life. I just think it was at a bad time. And I think my least favorite part of it was that 2018 was a golden year for MCU movies. You started off with Black Panther, you got Avengers: Infinity War, and then this. Like, if Ant, like, if there were one more 10 out of 10 movie, just would have been like so perfect. Excuse me, I have to sneeze. Hey, oh, God. Anyway, Ant Man the Wasp, you ruined 2018 for the MCU. It was so perfect, but you just had to ruin it. I, uh, I'm excited for Ant Man the Wasp Quantum Mania, though. I'm still going to see that. For 33, I have She Hulk Attorney at Law. I don't hate this as much as some fanboy losers do. I think it's awful and terrible that some people, like, went onto IMDb. Rated it like 0 out of 10 because they're mad that it was a woman show. Like, come on, shut up. But uh, it's, it's not really that life-changing or anything. Like, I don't, I, don't, I don't really care. I mean, props to them. I think uh, Tatiana Maslany did a great job, but um, I don't know. Uh, it's a 7. Uh, what, what even is it? It's a, yeah, it's a 7 out of 10. I still thoroughly enjoyed it. Some good cameos, and it's not that bad. I just, you know, could have been better. At number 32, I have Avengers Age of Ultron. Now, it hurts to put an Avengers movie this low. But, uh, uh, I, I, I just really didn't like this one. And it proves that Phase 2 is easily the worst phase of the MCU, okay? 
Phase one, like, I know it was only six movies, but it had a purpose, okay? This phase did not need an Avengers movie at all. It wasn't setting that up at all. Maybe sometimes, but not as much as the phase one was. Also, 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 this isn't even the way that phase two ended. It was freaking Ant-Man. Like, what are you doing? Anyway, this movie's pretty mid. I mean, I didn't enjoy it that much. I wish I did, but, um... It's kind of like Iron Man 2. doesn't exactly grow on me every time I watch it. But it is pretty rewatchable. Definitely the most rewatchable out of all of these. And number 31, I have What If. Now, my biggest nitpick for What If is that you don't need to watch it. Okay, you really don't. I skipped an episode. I, I don't even care. I skipped an episode. Um, and that's just the way I roll. There are some good episodes, though. I loved it when, uh, when um, Black Panther was um, Star-Lord. Chadwick Boseman actually voiced his character on that, which is the last time he was in something Marvel related. I, I just I think it's so special that he got the chance to be in that before he passed away. I just I just think that's awesome. He did a great job voice acting and it's just God, it's just crazy to think about that he was still alive to do that. But no, he did a great job in that. And there's some really good episodes in this. A uh, bit forgettable in the grand scheme of things in the MCU, but I'm glad they did it, and I'll definitely be tuning into uh, season two of the show. I don't want to stutter, okay? If I stutter, you guys got to catch me because I'm tired of stuttering. 30. I have Eternals. Uh, some pretty good characters in this. Um, Harry Styles at the end, still shocked about that. Thanos has a freaking brother. It's an important MCU movie. I mean, you do have to watch it. I mean, it's not like you have to, you can just cancel it out. Um, this is the one movie of Phase 4 I didn't see in the theaters because I wasn't really all that hyped about it. I was going to see it with my friend Sam, but we just didn't do it. Uh, I think the, the my main nitpick is that it should have been a, like a Disney Plus series, and it's not that rewatchable. I'm not going to really come back to it that much. It's got some good characters. I am definitely fond of Sprite. I think she's a great character. But besides that, eh. Eh. That's kind of all I have to say. At number 29, I have Doctor Strange. Now, Doctor Strange is good, but I felt like it could have been more psychedelic and out there. That's why I love Multiverse of Madness so much. Every time I think of this movie, I'm just like, Multiverse of Madness is a thousand times better. Is this a good movie, though? Yes. And I'm glad it got a lot of, uh, I'm glad it got a lot of credit, because I didn't think, um, MCU fans would really be into Doctor Strange, but I'm glad they are. Uh, it's a mind-bending movie. It's got some great moments, but all in all, I don't, I don't find myself coming back to it that much. At number 28, I have The Incredible Hulk. Now, I'm sick of people ranking this bottom five. It's not bottom five, okay? The reason why it's not bottom five, and that I rated it a 7.5 out of 10, is because it's enjoyable. Okay? If you asked me to watch The Incredible Hulk right now, I'd be like, whatever, I'll do it, you know? Because I love The Incredible Hulk, and I don't care what any of you guys have to say. Okay, maybe I don't love it, but I still think it's really good. Besides the fact that Edward Norton is, like, not in the MCU after this, I think it's a pretty good movie. I mean, if you take that away, it's probably an 8 out of 10, but... It's pretty noticeable, <laughs> but uh, good movie, and for the second movie in phase one, you can tell that even though they're getting off to a little bit of a rough start, it's still very rewatchable, and I really like it. And number 27, I have Black Widow. Underrated, very underrated. I remember I really liked this the first time I watched it. Of course, I don't love it as much now, but it's still a 7.9 out of 10, fairly good. Um, not as bad as everyone says it is, and I do think it's better than Eternals. Also, this one guy, um... Quick story, this one guy, uh, his TikTok account name is Filmstocked, and he rated, he ranked this over Black Panther Wakanda Forever. It's gotta be racially motivated. It, it does. It has to be, okay? I'm not, I'm not joking, that has to be racially motivated. <laughs> uh, anyway, Black Widow, pretty good. I love Yelena, uh, the family's pretty, uh, it's got some nice chemistry, but, uh, came, like, five years too late. Number 26, I have Hawkeye. Uh, this handled Yelena better, um, because, uh, it was really emotional seeing her, like, you know, patch things up with Hawkeye. It's crazy that we finally got a resolution to that post credit scene in Black Widow in, like, the same year. It's insane. But anyway, uh, yeah, Hawkeye was, yeah, it was pretty good. I like that it takes place in the holiday. I might rewatch it, because it's got some pretty fun moments. Uh, definitely rewatchable. I mean, like, it's not that dark. It's, it's a fun show. And Kate Bishop great character. Didn't add too much to Clint, but that's really my only nitpick. I think it's good. 8 out of 10. Solid. For 25, I have Thor. And, um, 
I used to always defend this movie with my life. Uh, I loved it so much the first time I watched it. But, um... Eh, it's not that great, okay? I can see why a lot of people don't like it. It's not bottom five, though. I don't, I don't think anyone should rank it bottom five. It's 8.3 out of 10. It's fairly good. I, I enjoy this movie. Um, I enjoyed it when I watched it the first time. It's not the best Thor movie, but hey, I still think it's pretty good. Number 24, I have Iron Man 3. Underrated. Super underrated, okay? Way better than the other movie that came out that year in the MCU. We don't talk about that. Anyway, Iron Man 3. Great movie. Uh, 8.3 out of 10. I really, I, I, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, you know what, this was pretty special. And it's definitely better than the second Iron Man movie. Uh, pretty good. I mean, the Iron Man trilogy isn't that great, but I'm glad it ended off with with a banger. I'll say that. Number 23, I have Loki. Um, not that rewatchable. But it was so fun watching it when it was out because, like, it was just so exciting, you know? I was anticipating... Every single episode, I was so excited, and um, I will definitely be tuning into season two, okay? And no matter my nitpicks for this, I will definitely be tuning into season two, like, no question at all. For 22, I have Spider-Man Far From Home. <sighs> MCU is yet to have a perfect trilogy, okay? And a perfect trilogy means every single movie, all three movies are 10 out of 10. Captain America came close. All of them were like 9 out of 10. They, it came close, though. Uh, I believed in the Spider-Man trilogy. Homecoming and No Way Home were great. But Far From Home just didn't do it for me. Eight and a half out of ten. It's solid, okay? Very rewatchable, I'll say that. But, um... Eh. I mean, like, it kind of let me down. I feel like it could have been a lot better. And if it were in Phase 4, then I think they'd have more time to make it. And also, like, it got leaked that, Spider that there was going to be another Spider-Man movie before Endgame even came out. So, like... What's the point of even trying to hide it at this point? It's a good movie, though. I, I, I enjoy it. At number 21, can you do something for me? I have Thor Love and Thunder. Um, now, yes, I, I, I will admit, it, it gets worse the more I think about it, but I will defend this movie with my life, okay? It's not the worst Thor movie, okay? It's definitely not. It's the second best Thor movie. Thor Love and Thunder is not bad at all, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but um, I get it. I wish the movie was longer. It should have been way longer and explored this tragic character that is Thor. But um, it, it's fine. I don't mind it that much. I like seeing Zeus and, uh, you know, I'm an MCU meat writer, so, like, I, I can't say that many bad things about the MCU. Uh, eight and a half out of ten. I It's definitely really enjoyable, and I see, um, I kind of see why some people dislike it, but I see why I personally love it. Number 28. I have Iron Man, the very first one, the one that started it all, 8.6 out of 10. Solid movie. Uh, not as great as I remember it, but uh, I thought about ranking Love and Thunder over this, but I just, I, I, I couldn't do that. Like, my heart wasn't in it. I, I really couldn't do that. Um, but yeah, I love the first Iron Man movie. I think it's really good. Number 19, I have The Falcon and Winter Soldier. Would have been perfect if... If not for the Flag Smashers, I get they're not the greatest villains, you know, I, I know, but super underrated, had some great writing, uh, tackled racism too, uh, I, I love Falcon and Winter Soldier, and I am so, I could not be more happy about Sam Wilson being the new Captain America, like, he just, he fits the role so perfectly, and I will for sure see Captain America New World Order, I think that's gonna be fantastic. Number 18, I have Moon Knight. I, I can I can hear the hate already. I love Moon Knight, okay? I don't care what anyone has to say. Moon Knight is so freaking underrated. Some people actually think that Loki's better than this. No. Moon Knight is amazing. It, it's dark, too, and I love that. Um, man, and that's the thing, though. Like, it started off good. One Episodes 1 and 2 were great. 3 kind of lost me a little, but the last 3 episodes, episodes 4, 5, and 6, amazing. It was... I was locked in the entire time. Steve was Steven was a great character. Um, yeah, it's amazing. Nine out of ten. Number seventeen. I have Ant Man. A uh, little bit high for some people. I I know I know, but um, it's good. Okay, super underrated. This is even in my little brother's top five. Like he really likes it. Um, you guys know my little brother, right? He was Doctor Big Brain. I mean, how could you not? Anyway, I freaking love Ant Man. It's it's funny. It's funny. It's a movie. I love it. 
Also, that teaser poster. <laughs> I'm probably going to show it to you on the screen. Uh, but uh, if you saw it, you know it's hilarious and it's, it's pretty great. Um, yeah, 9 out of 10. I love this movie. Number 16, Captain America, The Winter Soldier. Love it, okay? I've been saying it's overrated for a while, but even I have to admit that uh, it's a pretty great movie, okay? The action is top-notch, and if we didn't get this, we wouldn't have gotten Civil War, Infinity War, and Endgame. So, thank you, Russo Brothers. You did a great job. Uh, the action's just solid from start to finish. I don't think it's better than the first Captain America, but it's still really good. Number 15, I have Doctor Strange in the Mom. <laughs> I can't stop saying that. It's hilarious. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. So underrated, okay? I can get not liking Thor Love and Thunder, but you have to like Multiverse of Madness. This movie's amazing, okay? Script can be a little, eh, at times, but it's so exciting. The effects, the CGI, it's all crazy great. Like, I love it so much. It never skips a beat. Two hours and six minutes long. You know what that means? That means that there are rarely times where things are going slow. Like, it's always fast-paced, fast-moving, action like every single second, punches every single second, blasts every single second. I love Multiverse of Madness. Very rewatchable as well. So, the first MCU movie that I saw in theaters twice. Very thankful for that. I guess it's not Thanksgiving anymore. At number 14, I have the very first Avengers movie. Um... The Avengers. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's really good. Uh, it's not in my top ten, but uh, I like it. The first time I watched it, I hated it. was bitterly disappointed, but I love it now, so... Yeah. I mean, like, I, I think it's amazing. If we didn't get this, we wouldn't have gotten a lot of movies, so... Thumbs up for me. Uh, what would we, we got it at? Uh, yeah, nine out of ten. Good movie. At number thirteen, I have Captain America, the first Avenger. I will defend this movie with my life. I, I mean, I know there aren't that many people saying it's bad, but I still think it's just fucking amazing, okay? I'm not going to say the F word on this platform, but uh, Captain America, the first Avenger, so raw, so emotional. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's so good. It's so freaking good. Uh, definitely the most emotional MCU movie at the time. Uh, I love these characters so much, and it's, mwah, it's amazing. At number 13, I have Captain America... Oh, wait, no. Oh, that's what we already did. Let's take a look here. At number 12, I have Captain America Civil War. Just above the first Avenger. It's really close, but uh, Civil War is better. I mean, we all love this movie. I don't think there's anyone who dislikes it. I'm glad I don't have to defend this movie. Uh, you guys already know. It's fantastic. Everyone loves it. Everyone should love it. Uh, great film. At number 11, I have WandaVision. Some people are just hating on it now, and I think that's stupid. Like, why would you do that? It's so good, okay? Nine and a half out of ten. The ending was a bit rushed, but I still love it. It's so creative, too. At number ten, I have Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. No, it's Shang-Chi, not Shang-Chi, like my brother always calls it. Nine and a half out of ten. Very creative, fun movie. Simu Leo just does a great job. The villain, who happens to be Shang-Chi's dad was great also. I just had a fun time watching it. It, it. It's a great movie. It's a shame I've only seen it twice, but I want to see it more than twice. At number nine, I have Spider-Man Homecoming. Great movie. Another underrated one. 9.7 out of 10. I enjoy, like, every single second of it. It's funny, exciting, action-packed, and it's got some really great characters. Also, I love seeing Tony in a Spider-Man movie. I mean, it's just like, who would have thought that that would happen. It's it's crazy. And number eight, I have Thor Ragnarok. Ten out of ten. The first ten on this list so far. It's amazing, okay? Uh, way better than Love and Thunder. Easily the best Thor movie. And if you don't think that, I, I, don't, I don't know what to think of you. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, I think we all already know at this point that it's the best Thor movie. It's great. I love Thor Ragnarok. It's amazing. Seven, Avengers Infinity War. Another ten, okay? I have been saying that it's a little overrated. And that a certain movie that we will get to later is better. But it's still great, okay? It's it's amazing. One of the biggest movies ever. Like, so many characters and they just... Oh, God. Like, it's it's already good if you're just going to see it because you want to see it. But it's even better when you're a big fan of the MCU. Great movie. 10 out of 10. Number 6, I have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I'm not apologizing. Um, it's amazing. I love it so much. Guardians of the Galaxy, if 
if they stick the landing on this third movie, it'll be the first ever perfect trilogy I've ever seen. Okay? It will be. Also, their holiday special was really good. I, I just watched that. It, it's really good. Number four. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Number five. The first Guardians of the Galaxy. Another ten. It's just slightly better than the second one. Um, I love this, okay? I love the emotion. And the best part is, so much stuff happens in this movie, but it's only two hours and four minutes, which I find hard to believe. But, no, James Gunn does a great job. And, I mean, if we didn't have this movie, we wouldn't have a lot of others. First time we get introduced to the space. We have a whole movie in space. I love it. Number four, we have the very first Black Panther movie. I love it. I've always loved it. 10 out of 10. Super rewatchable, but yet, like, so dramatic at the same time. It's amazing, okay? I will, I will always say that this movie is just great. 10 out of 10. Number three, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. I love this film so much. I've seen it twice in theaters, and I loved it even more the second time. Such an emotional ending. Great tribute to Chadwick. God, I mean, I know you guys might be thinking, that's a bit too high there, Baylor. But no, it, it's not. It, it's amazing. And also, Phase 4, it's really good, guys. If I have two Phase 4 movies in my top five, you already know it's great. Actually, two Phase 4 movies in my top three, because number two is Spider-Man No Way Home. It's just a little bit better than Black Panther Wakanda Forever. It's really close, though. Love this movie, okay? I love it. I, I really, 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 really love it. I think it's amazing, okay? We got all three Spider-Men together. Um, I'm running out of things to say for movies, but uh, either way, love this film. I think it's perfect from start to finish, and I think it made me cry in theaters, which is a rarity. But at number one, what else but... Avengers Endgame. Look at this. I got the poster. You should already know. It's my favorite. It is a 10 out of 10 from start to finish. I watch it every birthday of mine since I was like 12. I, I watch it on my birthday every single night. Um, love it from start to finish. Three hours long. Great run time. Anyone who says that Infinity War better can just go to hell because it's not. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, this was definitely very hard to do, um, but I did it. Goodbye.